Hello and welcome back to another episode of Real with Ryan. It's 4.45 in the morning. Our gear is packed and it's time to go chase the solar eclipse. Packed up, got the dogs cozy, and we are ready to go eclipsing, aren't we? All right, let's hit the road. Thank you, too. All right, we got our Mickey D's and our coffee. It is 5.30 in the morning, so a little behind the original schedule, but should be plenty of time to go a couple hours and uh, see if we can find that eclipse. Beautiful. Arkansas mountains. Got the doggos. Hopefully that sun will be covered up later today. Now this right here is a view. We have made it to Clarksville, Arkansas and a beautiful baseball sports complex. Um, we are like five hours early. This might just be where we end up watching the eclipse. It's definitely in totality. We could, if we wanted, go deeper into totality, uh, but this is a really comfortable place nice open area and there's even a park with bathrooms for our dogs uh, so this could be a good spot we're gonna chill, chill here check the forecast make sure the clouds are good just a few minutes from the park is a loves and uh, all these people are just posted up here hours before the eclipse I'm gonna just hang out in the loves parking lot to watch it seeing people from all over the place people from california oklahoma missouri nevada just like plates from all over the u.s here so Cool to see such a crazy group of people all in Arkansas. I came back from the bathroom and my girlfriend turned into a dog. And my dog turned into a girlfriend. <laughs> so we have made our final resting place at a place called Klein Park in Clarksville. I'm gonna walk the dogs around, make sure that they get their exercise and are nice and chill. Have people starting to show up from all over the world here. And uh, it's looking like it's gonna be a beautiful day. Such a pretty park. Lots of kiddos out playing, getting ready for the eclipse. A little bit of cloud cover, and oh my gosh, there's paragliders or parachuters. <laughs> Just looked up at the right time. See old people, people falling out of the sky. Got ourselves just a little camp set up. We got a bean in the back with a bone. We have a guy here, right here, with a bone. Brought ourselves some eclipse sandwiches. <laughs> Yummy. Give a little wave. <laughs> Give a little wave. <laughs> Cute. Luckily, we got some uh, tired puppers. All right, so the eclipse has started. A tiny sliver of the moon covering the sun. I don't think my camera is going to be able to pick up anything, so I'm going to have to kind of describe what's happening and what's going on around. It's but. like the moon is covering the sun, so just imagine that. Oh, that's so cool. I brought my little film camera and I think the battery died on it. Yeah, we can see the shadow. And we're noticing just all around, all of a sudden the light is just, probably can't pick it up on the camera, but just starts to feel weird, like almost closing in on twilight. It looks like gray. So, very interesting. Oh, oh, that's so cool. Wait, that's crazy looking. Oh, wow. All the little crescents from the leaves of the trees. We're in the final minutes before the eclipse. You can see that crescent there. There's just the tiniest bit. I can't show you on the camera, but it is so dark. It's a twilight out. It's amazing. It's the last little bit. 30 seconds. <gasps> okay. Oh my god. It's, oh, it's right there. It's almost there. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, holy shit. Holy shit, dude. It looks so cool out here. Hold on, keep your sunglasses on. Oh my 
my god. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm just like crying, dude. Me too. I know. Oh, I like oh my god. Get, it it does look get so a, cool. Get a the picture clouds. of You're so right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the light, the street lights coming on. So oh my god. You can oh. see a 360 degree sunset. Oh my gosh, it is just amazing. <laughs> I fucking can't. Oh wow. I was trying to get I a picture. I can't believe how okay. long it's lasting. <laughs> Capture. It's so beautiful. Oh yeah, we're about to have to put our sunglasses back on. Do you hear the crickets in? Oh, the crickets are coming out. Oh, out. It is That's still so totality perfect. right now. Oh, oh yeah, it's glimmering no. back up. Don't go away. Oh, I have to put our... Holy shit! Oh my gosh! Oh my god! That took my breath away. That was so unbelievable. Oh my god! That's the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. That was so cool. Oh my gosh! I am so glad we came. I'm so glad that we were here. Because you know what, partial was, and there go the lights. The lights are turning back off already. Oh! And then just as quick as it went, we are just back to the middle of the day. Words can. I'm struggling to come up with words to describe what that was like and how I'm feeling. It was just all of a sudden the twilight got deeper and deeper and deeper and then the moon just covered the sun and everything went dark and we could take off our glasses and i think it just like took everyone's breath away and like I, me and everyone in my family basically just like burst into tears it was i'm still like cr emotional from it it was incredible and uh the crickets started chirping, the, the birds got quiet, the street lights turned on, there's just this dark hush. And it was nighttime and you could just see the eclipse and um, it was just amazing. It was absolutely amazing. And then for three to four minutes, it felt like a long time. We got to just enjoy and look around and see a 360 degree sunset and uh, then as quick as it went away the the sun came back and we're right back to it being afternoon and now of course everyone's kind of getting out of here so we're going to be doing the same but that was one of the most if not the most incredible thing i've ever seen and my whole family is saying the same thing so but now we've got a long ride home and going to try to get out of here before uh getting stuck in traffic so hopefully uh smooth sailing but that that was incredible and i could not recommend trying to see an eclipse more okay so we're on our way back already and we're maybe five miles away from where we just were and there's already been like eight cops like with their oh here comes another oh. one just more fucking police zooming out of the fucking woodwork for wow. something i don't know what's happening it's back crazy. there <laughs> And they're all going towards the main highway, so we're taking the back roads, and it is probably just a shit fest on the highway. Yeah. Just emergency vehicles everywhere, and we're still, like, in shock of what we just saw. <laughs> <laughs> I, as far as just what it was like, I, I don't know if there's anything to possibly compare it to, but, like, I think that was the most magical and incredible things I've ever seen in my entire life. We have gotten out of the epicenter. There are tons of cars going, so we don't have too much time to talk, but that was maybe the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. In fact, no, scratch that. That was by far the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. If you ever have the chance to see a total solar eclipse, I, I can't recommend it more. It is incredible, and we're probably gonna try to see everyone from here on out, but we're gonna hit the road and go back and just reflect on what the heck we just saw it was amazing 10 out of 10 
thank you so much for watching. Thanks for joining us on this amazing journey. And as always, thank you for keeping it real with Ryan.